Ooh, welcome everybody to the Glacier Gamble podcast, and uh, this is episode seventy-seven, something like that. That's a lot of sevens. Wow, that's so many. That's more. We that's can't one even more count seven that high, to be honest. Probably not. Not if you timed me. Probably um, not. Today we're talking about a couple different the Super Bowl movies that came out. From the Super During Bowl. the Super Bowl, yeah. Super Bowl spots. And uh, uh, it was The Flash. The Flash. And Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Yes. Next week, we're going to talk about Ant-Man. Yep. So this week we are so... seeing that in two days. Correct. Two days. And uh, so this one is going to be about Guardians of the Galaxy 3 yes. and The Flash. Yes. Uh, you know what? D starts before M. Do we do D, C first over Marvel for alphabetical? Well, or... I usually try to save the D as long as possible. Okay. Uh, so I think actually, I'm, I'm. This is hard to say, but I, <clears throat> I, in initial reactions. I actually had more hype for the Flash. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You uh, call mainly because a we fan? also predicted the Flash. Yeah. Um which is just another one of the many things that we predicted here. We need a, like a whiteboard right here. I'll just be like chalk one. All right, there. Right. We'd probably have to get two whiteboards with the amount of things that we've said before they happen right. on here. True, true. So, um, it's up to you. Okay, okay, up to. But me. G G Guardians of the Galaxy also comes before. Nope. F's the word. Flash. <laughs> oh, gotcha. The Flash. Okay. So it's up to you. It's up to you. You know what, Guardians of the Galaxy, we'll start with that, and um, I thought that the music choice for the trailer was perfect. Everything with Guardians has always been, you know, yeah, typical on brand with them, to pick good music. Um, The main thing everybody wants to focus on is who's going to die. Right. Uh, That's that's all anybody wants, is who's going to die, is this a love story, or is this just like, like, is it wrapping up everyone's story, what's going to happen? Um, I don't think enough people are talking about Swole Root. Right. He's teenage size, but he's like bulkier than he was as a I, I did see a couple theories, and some of that is um, pulling f- like this this Groot, um, the, the offspring of our Groot, um, the original Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy 1. It's not as su- – well, it, it's his offspring, I guess. So it's not necessarily like the same – it's not the same Groot. Right. Um, but he's been pulling from the celestial energies of Mantis and Star Lord, and so that could explain how he is big rather than um the previous Groot not having that much uh like not being by Star Lord or Mantis or anything because Ego is a celestial and is obviously Mantis and Star Lord have celestial half celestial whatever you want to call it so that's that's one theory um which could explain it um uh, because it doesn't i don't <clears throat> i think how, it was more hot pockets and doritos but right when this group was like a little bit younger and like he was on uh, on like the uh like he's like kind of teenage he's kind of like young adult now but when he's more teenage and he's like i agree while he's playing games yeah. he was skinny yeah. he was skinny right and so i don't think that group necessarily had the work ethic to Get well, swole on himself. By so here's himself. my oh. theory. Yeah, I think he's just going through puberty. Okay, really good, really good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so. yeah, puberty. Okay, yeah, he's just going through puberty, and um, we're just seeing what he's gonna look like as an adult. He's just gonna be a little bigger this time around, a little more beefy. Um, this way, I think it's so that The Rock can play him in a future role. Got it. Uh, that will us. that will never happen. I don't think that'll ever happen because um Vin Diesel and Dwayne the Rock Johnson hate each other. Yep. So it has to be Vin uh, Diesel's <laughs> voice coming out of the rock's body. Just they would both hate it. Right. Yep. Yeah. That's what so, I want. Um, yeah. I don't I think that so in the trailer we see Drax in like a really rough shape at one point. Right. We see getting Star like carried Lord. out of the prison type thing. Yeah. Kind of reminiscent of the first one. Yeah. We see Star Lord getting carried at carried, one point. Yeah. 
Uh, Rocket obviously high evolutionary stuff and like the like the medical room and the graphs and the mm-hmm. computer screens and stuff. Yeah. So right now, and then Gamora, they brought up the fact that she's died before. So yeah. it's it's like I would say out of the the ones who in the movie that feels safest to me is the one that feels safest is Gamora. Sure. But however many times we've seen people uh, in companies kill a character, bring them back, and then kill them again, like Glenn from Walking Dead. Right. Like yeah, the the uh, the dumpster scene. Yeah, like you make yeah. they make you think they're dead, then they get you back to the use of the fact that oh they're not dead. They right. want you back and happy that they're alive, and then all of a sudden, nope, dead again. Right. So Gamora could be because I mean Star Lord is screaming pretty hard, right? In that scene where like the spit comes off his face, right? Yeah, so it could be for Gamora. They they make him hit on Nebula for a second, which is pretty in line with Star Lord as a character. Right. Not necessarily this Star Lord that we've seen, but Star Lord overall. He also character. doesn't have that same connection with this Gamora too. Right. So, I mean that's yeah, I see that. Yeah. Um, so, most likely to die is probably Drax. I think Drax, uh, especially because Batista was like, this is probably it for Drax. And like, he's been I, so open about probably not playing Drax again, right. wanting to move on to new things, right. wanting to be taken yeah. as a serious actor, so he wants to do some more serious roles, like that uh, Knock at the Cabin or something. Knock at the Cabin, M. Night Shyamalan's. Yeah. Shyamalan's. Pretty, he was yeah. really good in that, so... <clears throat> I think, I think he Drax. Wants to move on to that. I think Drax I think, is Dra- gone, I, I but think not Drax, necessarily dead. Sure. Um, I think Drax does. Because, like, I, I want them to kind of, like, James Gunn has said, like, this is the end of this version of the Guardians. Right. And so I want them to kind of have, like, a, um, to kind of set you up for what is next with the Guardians. Um, and so that's, I mean, that's a whole other topic, but, like, I would love for them to finish Drax's story, but at the same time giving, I and mean, we've talked about this before, like the moon dragon. Yep. want there to be like, tease the moon so, dragon. So then you get Adam Warlock as the leader, you get moon dragon as a character, maybe Groot's still there, Nebula's still there, stuff like that. I nowhere is gone now, right? I No, no, no. Actually, they, since the Collector is gone, in the Guardians of the Galaxy special, the Guardians actually, that's where their bit like their setup is, is on nowhere. Okay. They so like own nowhere. Cosmo's in the trailer. We knew Cosmo, Cosmo was Cosmo, being yeah. held by the collector. Right. So I feel like we're gonna see some scenes from nowhere. Sure. For sure. Um, I do think uh James Gunn's brother. Craglin. I think I think Craglin's probably he there's a good chance he dies. I think he's you're got, gonna yeah, see he's some... got the Yaka arrow too, though. So like Someone's got to live down Yandi's legacy, I guess. So, I don't know. So we if, keep... if we're going with already known characters, or maybe a little bit of potential character for the next phase of Guardians, you'd want to probably introduce. Would you want to introduce them in this movie, or do you want this to have nothing I'd to do? I tease with the some of them. So, like, so, obviously, you got Adam Warlock. Right, you got Adam Warlock as the new probably be like the lead. Board. Yeah, probably the lead. Yep. Yeah. I think um, a Moon Dragon. Right, Moon Dragon. Yeah. I think um, you could have Cosmo. Co- I was gonna say Cosmo, Cosmo the or dog. there's this, there's like a badger, Let Layla, that's in the, and I feel like Rocket that could be and, the, re- the Layla, replacement yeah. for Rocket, or right. that could be where Rocket leaves, right? Where Rocket yeah. dies. I agree. Um, I so I, I think definitely Moon Groot Dragon can stay because I kind of want like the God King Groot. Yeah, I think Groot was like he. Play. Yeah, so we've seen everybody. One of he, when he was baby Groot, teen Groot, all this stuff. Like fans have been wanting adult Groot back, right? And I think to only have him to not bring fully grown Groot back ever would right. be not what fans would want. Which right. they've kind of shown that they'll even give the fans what they want over putting out good content. Right. So I think that I think they'll do that for sure. Um. I don't know. Oh, if I were to if I were to take a guess, uh, by the way, uh, Adam Warlock looks awesome. Yeah, um, yeah Will Poulter's Will Poulter's going to kill that role. I think no, that's was, very yeah. cool. Yeah, I'm so excited. I, the, the villain doesn't seem too too great for me. The high uh, evolutionary, the high, uh, high evolutionary. Maybe I just 
like they're not giving enough away. But right now the stakes don't seem high enough because sure. we don't seem to understand what the whole plot is. Right. Which is fine because I'd rather not know. But right. um, as uh, like as of right now, if I were to guess who, which one, I, my if I were to like you were to say you have to put money on it, Drax, I think is the safe one. Yeah. I think so too. I think that's a safe bet. I think if you were to ask me this morning versus tomorrow morning, I'm probably going to have a different answer every time. Sure. Yeah. Um, because this morning I was thinking to myself, like, there's a chance, like, maybe Gamora dies. Sure. Like, I just, <clears throat> I just, I keep thinking of each character. Most of them, their story arcs are completed already. Right. So you could probably kill off all of them and be okay with it. I think no, Wolf is no, one that you random. Can't. I just, thought of this nova could be in that mix too uh um, they said that the nova project has been delayed so i don't sure. think nova is going to be part of it right. right but they said it was they said this i think there was an announcement today that said nova was delayed yeah there's a lot of they're going to probably delay a lot of things they're going to work on quality over quantity which they so, need to right yeah there's just too many too many disney plus shows and stuff that people said they didn't like compared to the amount that they say they did like i think right. a lot of that is once you start hating something people jump onto it but right because a lot of the shows weren't as bad as people were saying like sure. moon knight was loved and then all of a sudden two months later everybody hates moon knight <laughs> right <laughs> it makes no sense miss marvel everybody's loving it two months later one of the worst shows marvel's ever made oh right. okay that's fine 98 percent or whatever for the first three episodes but it's, yeah it's whatever <laughs> garbage Garbage. terrible terrible yeah. but what do you who do you think who do you think uh my Wait. my initial thing is drax i i kind of once you said uh the whole like layla thing i think that um rocket could just kind of like retire with layla and then there could be something like groot wants to come with them but they're like groot you need to protect like you need to be with them or protect them and so you get maybe cosmo Cosmo the space dog with because Cosmo's a telepath, but you can't like mm -hmm. I don't know the extent of their powers, but I don't know. I I think I think I'd like them to kind of kind of fill out some of the roster. So like you can be like, okay, Adam Warlock's back, Root's back, these ones are question marks, and then who else is gonna round out the team so that we can get thinking ourselves um kind of what's what's next, what's in store. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good to me. Because instead of doing Guardians of the Galaxy, they could just it could just be like Guardians now. Something like that. I don't know. Instead of like yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy 4, Guardians of the Galaxy 5. I something think they'll like. probably do that. It'll it'll probably it'll be something like the, they'll Guardians of Gahul. Something like I don't yeah, know. Yeah, Guardians different. of Gahul. That's a good one. I don't know if I've ever heard of that, but I think that's all sure. that's that's catchy. It's right off the top of the dome. That's really good. I like that. Yeah. I feel like I would love something based on Guardians of Gahul. It just right, sounds, yeah. maybe like a book or something. Like a bunch of books, like fifteen of them. Maybe have somebody named like Catherine Lasky write them. Okay, um, yeah, okay, That's, that would be what I would want. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, I don't know this. This I think this is going to be on a different level of some of the most. I think a lot of people there there should lower their big picture expectations and increase their small here's, picture here's, expectations. Here's also something they've been doing with season four and probably the start of season five or uh, wow, phase four. Oh! The start, of, <laughs> start of phase five um, is it's kind of been centered around loss. Um, we got WandaVision. That's the whole story is about loss. Loki's about loss. Um, you get me. You can name it. You can find loss in every episode of, or every show in some way. Shape, every episode form. of every season, probably. Yeah, <laughs> season four and five. Um. So, and I think the start of phase five is going to be like that. I think Ant Man has been about loss. Like he lost his time with Cassie. Um. Echo lost her dad. Echo lost her dad. Hawkeye yeah. lost his hearing. Yeah, and his family. And his family. Yeah. Um. So I don't know. Oh, yeah. Every, there's. Back. I don't know. There's loss at loss everywhere. So um it was about his loss with Natasha, right? Yeah. And then it was about Yelena's loss of Natasha too. Yeah. So yeah, I think <laughs> and then I think it's gonna go right into Guardians, which is gonna be a kind of a, a show about loss. Um it's to some extent, like 
Um, Peter lost his time with Gamora. Rocket lost Captain his Falcon time. Lost Stephen Ro- Steve Rogers. Exactly. Bucky lost Steve Rogers. Right. Wanda lost Vision. It's all right. loss. Yeah, and she just lost taking her kids. Else. Yeah. Everyone's just taken out. Doctor Strange was lost. Um, Peter has to deal with the his losing his friends. It's all about loss. And so eventually it's going to flip a switch. It's not going to be about loss. It's going to be about how do we stop this loss and try to beat Kang. Kang. Right, which is why uh, like Ant-Man has always been that light in the darkness for right. Marvel late, as of late. And I don't think that's going to happen. I think we're going to yeah. try. And it's just, it's, I think they're, it's going to like, there's going to be a couple parts where you laugh, but for the more, most part, they're going to be like, no, 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 we're not getting happy yet. Right. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. But Ant Man, that's for next week. Yeah. So that, that's, you know, that's our overall thoughts on Guardians of the Galaxy. Flipping it over to DC, another thing that I think is going to try to have some comedy into it, but overarching aspects are probably going to be a lot of the darker side. The Flash trailer dropped the for Flash. the first time. Everybody's completely forgotten everything Ezra Miller did. <laughs> exactly. We have, we have previous videos on why they can't really move forward with Ezra, but they look like they might be. James Gunn even said, we need to learn how to separate what they do in their personal lives. And if Ezra sure. were to be found innocent or anything like that, that they aren't supposed to, they shouldn't be able to hold that against them. Right. So, you know, got that, get that out of the way. Everybody's forgetting. We're just moving forward as if that stuff doesn't exist. Let's just talk about it. I did think Ezra's portrayal in the trailer feels a little off. Sure. But I also think that that's just their natural personality because that's every right. role I've ever seen them in is. Yeah, yeah 100%. Yep. <laughs> it's just like the right. awkwardness. Um, like the you have my face you, you stole yeah. my face like it yeah. sounds awkward like it's supposed yeah. to be funny comparing like Ezra Miller's Flash Barry Allen with like Grant Gustin's Flash yeah. in the Flash show Um, I think they're kind of both on a like this is where Flash should be and one's over here on the goofy side <laughs> and one's over here on the serious side and they need to be like right here yeah so uh, Which... I think it's like a, a little mix of both kind of to would be this like the perfect flash, I guess. So, yeah. I'll give you a perfect uh, flash. <laughs> you have before. <laughs> well, there's two flashes here, you know, blue flash and orange flash. Right. And maybe they'll have, you know, varying personalities that meld into one perfect flash. Sure. Yeah. But we also know there's also, there's not only will there be multiple flashes in this movie spoiler alert <laughs> right because it's just like multiverse of madness they're traveling around multiple multiple dimensions because barry can travel wherever right and um you can yeah so unlike multiverse of madness, they're not advertising that they're just right. talking that it's possible but they're not setting expectations that he's going to just be going crazy right um, yeah i think he, he did simply just he goes to a world he goes to a different universe um that's in peril Mm-hmm. And they're like, he wants to help, and everyone's like, "Why do you want to? Why do you want to help this universe?" And he's like, "This is the only one where my mom lives." Right. That so. was the other line delivery where I was like, "I feel so weird," but it's yeah. just, it's just Ezra's personality coming through. Right. right. Other like it's yeah, it's not the character I'm hearing; it's Ezra that I'm hearing. Sure. sure. And the other, I mean, I think it. it I'm more excited. I think. So Guardians of the Galaxy and Ant-Man are two of my favorite series from uh, sure. Marvel. Right As of right now, they're my two favorite, Ant-Man and Ant-Man 2, Guardians sure. Guardians 2. And I'm still, I think, more excited for The Flash than I am for Guardians. Probably not more than Ant-Man. But um, it, one, we've predict, we predicted it. We have previous episodes right. where we guessed that this is exactly what was going to happen, where it was going to be Barry having to completely reset time because they're, they just des- he destroyed it. Like we have that. Right. Go ahead and look it up if you want to. If I find it, if I find the link, it was like episode like twenty. It was I'm yeah. talking like a year ago. Yeah. We predicted this was going to happen. Sure. So if I can find it, I'll post it. If I can't find it, look for it in our in our podcast and our YouTube. It's there. Right. Um, so one is I'm excited to see just how right we were. Right. But yeah. 
Also, I'm excited because it has multiversal travel. So we're going to see right. Michael Keaton's Batman. We get to see yeah. Ben Affleck's Batman. We get to see double yeah. Ezra Miller Flash. Yeah. We get so to we see get Supergirl. See... Yeah, so we get to see... Uh, we. I assume that he's still in his same world when he runs into Ben Affleck's Batman. I just... That's that's his Justice League world. That's the one we're used to, I guess. And then um, and then he travels to the, the Blue Flash's uh, world. And that world happens to be Michael... What we assume it could not be right, like, but we assume it could be Michael Keaton's Batman's world. I'm thinking, so I don't think Christian Bale would do it. Just saying, like, I think they would ask Christian Bale to be a guest Batman, and he would say no. Just what I've heard about him in the past, that just seems like he would either say, "Give me star money, like, give me pay me as much as the leads," or "No, I'm not interested." So I think at best we would get like a Clooney. Uh, Kilmer, yeah. uh, like right. at best we would get something like that. So I don't think it's going beyond Michael Keaton because my original yeah. thought was that there would be another Batman that we would see. Sure, but I think the Batman most people would want to see is Christian Bale or Robert Pattinson. Right, and I don't think either of them are showing right. up for sure. They so, don't. Yeah, they would definitely not do Pattinsons because they're going to hold that one off as long as possible. I think before like introducing other characters like it's just going to be the bat universe so the bat verse over there the gotham gotham city rogues gallery of batman so right but yeah you get uh and then you get who you assume is the bat or the superman of that universe superman it's supergirl uh kara kent Mm -hmm. um which is also cool like and barry yeah, the picture yeah. thing. Yeah. Our kids are gonna want to see this one day. Yeah. Yeah. That made me chuckle. Which yeah. hopefully they didn't spoil the funniest part of the movie, right. the trailer. But yeah. yeah, I got I back out a good giggle out of me. Yeah, just the the I'm Batman thing, cool too. It's like yeah. you're you you're, and then he's like, I'm Batman. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. just waiting to see it, and then yeah. There was there was a couple rumors that have been coming out about this movie about what might happen, but just like Multiverse of Madness, I think as soon as you add multiversal travel and you add these, so people are going to start speculating just nonsense. I've seen right. people already speculating that Jim Carrey's Joker would be in it. I saw some people speculating the that Halle Berry's cat, yeah, the Riddler, Jim yeah. Carrey's Riddler, Halle Berry's yeah. Catwoman. I was like, you're not seeing any of that. Right. Like, maybe you'll see Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman because Michael Keaton's in it. Right. Maybe Danny DeVito said like a year and a half ago that he that his Penguin is still the best Penguin that's existed. Sure. So he would probably do that. Yeah. I don't think you're getting anything that right. ridiculous. I think people should like. Make Zod, sure. oh Zod is back too. Zod being General back, yeah. Zod, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Um, I can never think of that actor's name, but I'm all I always yeah. think he's good in everything he does. Yeah, I can never I'll say think Michael. Of M- Michael, yeah. That's his, I don't, I don't know, because he's remember. even he's even in Groundhog's Day, and people never remember he's in Groundhog's Day because he's a he's like a super small part. Right. But he's even in Groundhog's Day where he's like this happy couple that wants WWE tickets. Michael Shannon. I, I was Michael right. Shannon, Michael. Yeah. yeah. he's Everything I see him in, he's terrific. Right. Villain, right. humor, oh, any of it. I feel like yeah. he's good in all of it. So sure. even though I don't think Zod as a character ex- like doesn't excite me a ton, right. but I think him but, well, the, the Zod cool part is, is like, yeah, because in Man of Steel, which I didn't see, sorry, uh, Man of Steel, like Superman kills General Zod. So like him being back, like alive in this other universe is pretty cool. It's like, yeah. yeah. Which and when so. we see Henry Cavill Superman too, um, <laughs> it... oh, wait. <laughs> oh wait, they could have brought Henry Cavill back. <laughs> they could have. Up. They could have given him a goodbye here, but no. We get to the we get the post credit scene of Black Adam just being the ultimate cock tease for the ball, yeah, just the... for the rest of time. Right. will be just Henry Cavill, we've got work to do or whatever. Right. They're even doing an Amanda Waller show. Anyway, The Flash, yeah. one right. of my favorite superheroes of all time. Yeah, one of the I'm, most I'm very popular. excited for you because like this is one where I'm like this is one where I'm just going to like wine and dine you and been like, here we go, man. This is this is what you've been living for. The Flash Ooh. movie. You uh, had the, the Flash socks. You had Flash pit. You have a Flash hacky sack. 
My yeah, first got... ever Microsoft username was Flash. I had Flash on my pants during track and field. Right. Uh, my first Xbox username was Flash. My first League of Legends username was Flash Gordon with numbers right. instead of letters. Right. I'm just, oh, I love Flash. And yeah. there's there's a few DC characters that I feel like my love for them makes keeps me around being a DC fan opposed to going because almost all Marvel characters I tend to enjoy. Right. But Static Shock, the right. Flash. There's just there's a few D de- I'm usually not a like the archers. Man, so you like yeah. Green Arrow. I'm a fan Arrow. of Green Arrow and Green Lantern. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm not a I'm not a huge Batman or Superman fan. I'm right. Wonder Woman I'm fine with. Sure. But I like a lot of the DC villains. I think that's yeah. where they that's where they get me. Because like a lot of the Batman DC villains, poison. I Ivy, think we Mr. have Freeze. yet to see like a Lex Luthor that has blown me away. Oh, speaking of which, uh Abraham from Walking Dead is playing Lex Luthor in something. I think I saw that as well. So that's cool. Yeah, I think if we get a Lex Luthor, we just we need somebody that's going full. Si- I want a Jeffrey Dean Morgan esque. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought I too. Want, but I think Jeffrey Dean Morgan and everything, but yeah, not, not play... Jeffrey Dean Morgan himself. Right. Somebody that does his similar of. I want you to be very charming, but be scared the whole time. Confident, yeah, very confident the entire entire time. Like Jonathan Majors seems his Kang is going to be that way, right? And or at least his he who remains was that way. Yeah. Where he was it's so confident fun, yeah. and never he, you never felt like you could trust him. Yeah. And I just I feel like we need that for Alex Luther. Like my I think um Jesse Eisenberg right. was way too um <sighs> quirky. I, I get yeah, quirky might be a good maybe a little bit too cerebral. Like, yes, I know Lex Luthor's supposed yeah, to be this right. genius, but I also think he's like when big, you look at like he's he should he's, be a little bit not more buff, y- like yolk, but like he's fit, right? Yeah. So like um I'm sure you've seen have you seen the I never mind. The, that'll be an off top off podcast discussion. Yeah. Um, Number eight or seven. Is that what you're <laughs> <laughs> um, but so I I don't know. I was thinking that we just, you know, I wouldn't mind if it was a bald dude. I don't care if they want him to have hair. I think bald, a little bit more buff. I don't care if they want to make him be black, Asian, or white. I like yeah, whatever no they want. Whatever no they want. I don't care. I just hope that they are muscular, charming, but also seem sinister. Like right. that's just as sure. long as they can. If you want to break it down to its simplest form, that's what I want Lex Luthor to be. Right. And then they can build out and complicate it from there. I'm right. cool with it, right. but. I just I need I need a good Lex Luthor. Just like you have to nail Joker, you have to nail certain characters, and that's the that's another downside of DC in general is their characters are so high up on pedestals that right. if you don't nail them in movies, that's true. They people um they have such so much higher expectations. Like Batman's expectation, you have to nail. Oh it. You have yeah, to work you on the can't movie for mess five up years. on. Yeah, you can't mess up on Batman, Superman. You can't mess up on. Joaquin yeah, Phoenix, like, I think, is one of the best actors of all time. You have to get somebody like that to play Joker. Right. You have to get Barry Keoghan. I think it would nail it if they continue moving forward with yeah. it. Um, I'm blanking on his name, but I'm a big fan. Uh, the guy who played the Riddler in the Batman. Paul Dano. Paul Dano. You get Paul Dano's, you get Robert Pattinson's, and you're good. You yeah. get Henry Cavill's playing suit. Uh, <laughs> but you get you get Colin like, Farrell playing Penguin, right? You get right. you knock it out of the park with these, and you have to with DC, right? And I think that's been the struggle with Flash is nobody's felt like they've knocked it out of the park, and everybody wants every Flash fan wants perfect Flash, right? I think Ezra it's Miller tough. when they're standing in their costume looks like Barry Allen to me, right? Then Ezra starts kind of speaking and yeah, taking it's... their own twist on it, and I stop the belief a little bit right. that's kind of what like the grant gust grant gustins too Same. it's a little yeah. non-believable but the other kind of side of it so yeah that's and that honestly i know people might not like this but i feel that way about ben affleck's batman yeah it doesn't I, it doesn't feel believable to me right which the 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 right. <laughs> see that's the kind of the difference between like so far what i've gotten with ben affleck's batman is i've gotten really good bruce wayne 
but it not. The, I don't like. The, I don't like the bat. I don't necessarily like the Batman part of it. But with Robert Pattinson's Batman, you get so little of him as Bruce Wayne that you can't even like judge him on Bruce Wayne. But he plays a great Batman. But like he doesn't play good Bruce Wayne because like you don't see any of like barely any of it. Like he's been he's been evading the public in that like scenario. So yeah. um yeah, it's tough. But so yeah. we'll see what they do. If we bring any characters that they haven't shown in the flash trailers, anything like that. Um uh, I hope there's a sick, tease, like teased that this twist. is supposed to be big. Yeah. This is yeah, he's to like this is game. awesome. So Maybe you'll get a new the new Batman. You'll maybe he maybe okay maybe Barry Allen will get tr- this Flash will get launch himself into a universe where there's no Flash. Yeah, and now he's he does stuck. Go into a universe with no metahumans. He says in the trailer. Right, right. So could end up in a place with no Flash. Maybe the two Flashes converge. And they both die in order to reset. Right. And we end up with. Um, not Barry Allen, but um, Wally West. Wally West. Yeah. Uh, maybe we end up with something like that. Yeah. I don't know. Because yeah. I do think um, in the static shock that there's one of the static shocks, I believe Wally West was theirs, not Barry Allen. Sure. So, yeah. Because I, everything I'm hoping in Brain Static Shock still gets made. Right. <laughs> I'm yeah. going to cry if it doesn't. Um, but I think we could see Ezra's Ezra's Flash die here. That was one of the things I thought they made it apparent in the trailer that this Flash did something big. A lot of main characters that make this sort of mistake die. Sure. And I think when you tend to do time travel and they had that whole scene where Blue Flash and Orange Flash meet and then launch. Their feet, yeah. There's just a good chance that maybe they have, if they both meet at their top speed they can create some sort of big enough tear to reset everything sure yeah i don't know i think that's a little cheesy but you never know right yeah i don't know what they can do so um i don't think they'll kill off any of these side bones like michael keaton or anything no, like that. No, I don't... no reason to really but they're gonna have to use a lot of cgi so yeah. it's i hope it's really 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 good yeah, because I think this is going to require a ton of CGI, and the there's even a scene in the trailer where somebody gets uh, uh, Batman throws somebody, and it looks yeah. rough, like the body goes like, like it just it doesn't yeah. look like a clean throw. Sure, and obviously those sorts of things get touched up in the fin- in the final product, sure. but I really hope that they do just top everything out, make this what like what we talked about a year ago, make this the reset point. DC's right. restarting everything you know, even the things you mm-hmm. like. Done. Yeah, like how this. how crazy would it be if like he traveled to a world where he has no idea what's going on, right? Um, but then like or like it everything happens in Gotham, say in this other world, Michael Keaton's world. But then when he transfers to a new world with no like just he has no recollection of where he is, he's in Gotham and then he walks up to Wayne Manor. Right, and they like I don't know. They let they let him in. He knocks at the giant doors, and the giant doors open, and he just goes oh, like that. And then and you just cuts, and so like he's See, but, in the world. He's in the world with this new DC, this this new Bruce Wayne, and you don't get to know who it is. You like, don't know which one's the Bruce. Yeah, you don't know if this is if he's in this new DCU now. If right. he went from the DCEU to the dcu right and obviously they haven't cast the new what their main batman right so they're not gonna actually cast it just like um like we said we wanted with the end of eternals right we wanted a cut scene that like that was more of a hint as opposed to like a straight out tell you who the character is right and yeah i think that's i think that's always kind of the best cut scene it's, either yeah, it's like awesome. a monologue from this character that you're introducing or right. you don't even show that character's face anything yeah. in between it's just not as exciting right like i want beer barry keoghan's joker to have that full scene i yeah. or i want you to have like they just show you the feet they show you the costume they show the chain 
whip a fire drop, but they're not showing you who they picked as. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. The uh, uh, yeah, multiverse of madness. You think it would have been dope if you saw the uh, the the uh, the motorcycle kind of ride up to the Sanctum or Sanctorum. You just like... hear a motorcycle rev. You, right. Clea opens the portal and you hear a motorcycle rev, and that was it. Right. But even that, that would have been sick. You don't have to sh- say which version of Ghost Rider, nothing. Right. Just that sort of thing. So I do, th- I hope Flash does do some sort of reveal that way. I do sure. think there's a chance that they both die, but um, based on the way that they've talked, I think James Gunn is moving forward with Ezra Miller. I think this is just going to be a full reset, exactly like we were predicted. We were 100% right, and we have physical proof from a year ago, digital proof. We have the receipts right. that we should be hired. Right. Yeah. Give us something so, small. Give us static shock. We'll give you a... Michael B. Jordan. Please. Yeah. <laughs> I will make static shock everything you want. See, to I think you more. can look bigger. I think you look bigger. If if I I would stand on the table for Michael B. Jordan to get the black Superman, because he's been he's been pulling for that. He's been wanting to be like a, a black Superman. And yeah, yeah he said this. See, but that's the thing. Much. He seems so perfect for a lot of roles. It's kind of difficult because right. like, he, I also think he would just like just be so good at Green Lantern. Yeah, I he I he would like John be, John Stewart. Yeah, or like Hal be, Jordan. Like he'd be he could do both. Exactly, like yeah. he could do that. He could be Superman, and honestly, you I could see him as like a Mister Freeze. I could right. see him. I, you could see him in so many different roles. Sure. He's just Hush. One of those, he's one of those that yeah, just Hush. one of the Nightwing. He could be right. one of those actors. I could put him in any role, and it's like, yeah, believable. Poison Ivy, sure, <laughs> I'd still kiss him. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that's what we thought about the Flash. That's what we thought about Guardians. Next week, we're talking about Ant Man. Let us know what you thought of the trailer. Um, there's also been like a bunch of little like 30 second clips for different characters on the Marvel on Marvel's YouTube page. So if you haven't seen those, go check those out because those will help build your hype for Ant-Man 3, which is going to be amazing and probably the best Marvel thing ever because it's Paul Rudd and he's the best. Yeah. And go see Guardians. Go see Ant-Man. <clears throat> go see, go the, see Flash. the Flash. Sure. Support theaters, please. <laughs> yeah. Do what you can. Yeah, uh, yeah. Any any closing thoughts? Uh no, I I um I've seen a lot of don't let don't let Rotten Tomatoes and critic reviews base sway your, your feelings, opinion. sway your opinion because yep. um I'm sure when the audience scores drop, that's the one like you probably is what you should be paying attention to because within the first three days of screening, Ant Man uh Quantum Mania had a forty percent swing in stores yeah. so everybody's kind of swing, hit or miss on it so you're gonna have to go see it for yourself right. and decide right. if you want it if you if you like it or not it's gonna be huge it's gonna be a ma- massive movie so i think you should go see it if you plan on continuing wanting to understand what happens in future marvel stuff right yeah other than that no i just wanted i wanted to get that in there so you all look great today Chief. Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. I think of you and all the shit you don't do. Well, I'ma make hell of shit that I don't become you. Have no regrets, yeah, I'm tired of my chest. I'll never